Today, we're making salt and pepper shrimp. So if you like deep fried shrimp, and you like Cantonese food, stay tuned because this recipe is up next. Here I've got a five pound bag of frozen peeled deveined shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and add about two pounds of it to this large bowl. I'm gonna put it in the sink, run some cold water over it, let this shrimp thaw for a bit. In the meantime, we need to make a marinade. We've got one egg here, I'm going to add some canola oil. I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce. Some ginger powder. Some garlic powder. And a little bit of white pepper. You want to just whisk this up real good. Then you want to add some corn starch. And whisk this in as well. Make sure you get out all of those lumps. And once it's smooth and you can streak the bottom of your bowl like this, you're good to go. By now our shrimp should be thawed, so we can pour out all that remaining water. And we want to go ahead and add that to a strainer, make sure we get all of the water out completely. Set this down for about 10 minutes. And it's real important that this shrimp is dry, so I always dab it with a paper towel here. You can see how much moisture it's picking up get up underneath it if you have to. You need this shrimp dry for that marinade to stick and stay on it. Once that's done you can go ahead and add the shrimp to the marinade and I just get in there with my hands and make sure it's completely mixed thoroughly all the way through. I want that marinade on every bit of that shrimp. I just add it to a smaller bowl here, cover with some wrap and I'm going to refrigerate it for about 30 minutes. Now to garnish this dish, jalapeno. I'm going to cut little coin slices out of it and I'm going to use a sweet lunchbox pepper instead of the red spicy chilies. And I'm going to just remove these seeds here. I'm going to cut some julienne slices but then I'm going to go ahead and dice these up as well. I also like to grade some carrot and you really don't need much. And once you've added that to the mix, I'm going to go ahead and slice a lemon in half here and cut a few wedges. I like to squeeze one of them right over the garnish mix here. Make sure we don't get any seeds in there. Quickly hand toss this. And along with the lemon wedges, we now have a garnish to cover the deep fried shrimp. By now the shrimp should be fully marinated. And to add a very light breading, we're going to go with potato starch. And this can usually be found in any Asian market. I like to dust the bottom of my bowl to start, then add about a third of the marinated shrimp right over the top. Then come back over the top of the shrimp with a little bit more of that potato starch. Doing it this way will prevent a lot of waste. Now just get that all stirred in. Now once they're each completely coated, you want to shake each one of them off and you want to separate about half of this shrimp onto a plate. This is the amount of shrimp you should be able to safely fry all at once without any problems. And you can fry what's left in a second batch. Now just for fun I've set up my wok to fry these shrimp. You can use your electric stove or deep fryer, whatever you got. Just use some canola oil and heat it to about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Test your shrimp first. Looks like we're good to go, so I'll drop in the whole plate. This much shrimp can tend to stick to itself, so you want to separate that here a little bit with the ladle. Spread them out so they're not sticking to each other. And after about two minutes of cooking, they should be this nice golden color. And you can go ahead and spider them out. Remove them from the fry oil. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now this is a crucial stage. Just like french fries, as soon as they come out of that fry oil, you want to get them seasoned so the seasoning will stick. You're going to hit them with a large pinch of kosher salt and coarse ground black pepper. Top off with the garnish. Now just toss the bowl a few times.
and you can go ahead and add it to a plate. And there you have it, salt and pepper shrimp right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.